Okay, hello today. I'm just doing a quick video. Well, a quick status update video. <coughs> and the first thing you probably all notice is my mock transformer. Yep, I got it out of an old microwave right here. It's not really that old, but found it or by my aunt's house. I just said, why don't I pick it up? And I took, took it, dropped the fan out of it. And I got another high voltage capacitor, so yeah. And I got the circuit board, but I basically just took the parts off <clears throat> that I wanted. Oh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You probably also might have just barely had recognized, but probably saw. I homemade flyback transformer when I first turned on the video. So, anyway, right here we have my homemade flyback transformer. As you can see, it looks different than the previous one because it actually is. <clears throat> so, secondary, I, you can see I glued it on the sides. sides. Basically, it's just 26 gauge wire and it has about 11 layers on it. 11 or 12 layers on it. And, um, basically this has about the reason why I changed the secondary is not because I really wanted to. Even though it is kind of cool, I'll tell you why later. Um, but the reason why is because that secondary over there, that little thing, with the blue sticking out of it, a little black thing, next to like what looks like a cord, and it has like a little bit of blue and white on the side of it. Yeah, that's it. Right. Let me see if I can point at it right there. So yeah, it actually failed on me, and it's not because I didn't wind it properly or anything. It's just because I arced to it by accident, and ever since then it just kind of starts to smoke and stuff. So I don't use it anymore. So basically, I just changed the flyback, and as I was gluing it and taking the core off again and stuff like that, this, uh, the, the core, the previous core, I'll tell you why later, actually broke off. So what I did was I just took it, <clears throat> I just put this new little other half of the U-core on there. Now soon I'll be making another high voltage flyback with another U-core. I tend, I actually personally like these because you can wind a primary like this, or less or more. You can write a primary about to here, and you can have a nice big chunk of wire, chunk of metal, nice big secondary, like this. So, I mean, I guess there's always, like, the probability of it, like, starting corona between the primary and the secondary coil. But, I mean, yeah, I just actually like this type of, these type of big U cores <clears throat> because of the option that you get to make a big secondary so, you get to make a bigger secondary with these. I might, maybe, once I get around to it, make a little secondary across here. <clears throat> maybe. I mean, I really don't have anything better to do with this core. I mean, at first I was using it for ZVS driver. This is just inductance. I had I used to have a center tap 10, <clears throat> 10 turn right here. And I the other side of the voltage just come out here and I just powered directly into here. But yeah, that the ZVS driver doesn't work anymore. So I might make a small secondary right here, <clears throat> just just so that way I can have just a another little quick flyback. It's just kind of nice to have them around, so that way you know yeah, we'll always have another flyback just sitting there waiting for you. Already has some clothes on it. <clears throat> In other words, primary coil. But anyway. So, um, no, this has just about the same amount of turns as the previous secondary had for my previous flyback. It has about, uh, 800 turns, 700 to 900 turns on it. Primary, it's different. Um, so yeah, that's just about all in this status update video. It's actually powering it off of 5 volts and getting about a 15 kilovolt arc with and I could draw the arc out to about an inch and a half, about this long. So as long as the secondary. So I could draw it out about that long. I mean, I know it's not that much, 
fact to me for a homemade flyback. It's quite a bit to me, a homemade flyback getting. I mean, that's kind of not unheard of, but I mean, it's kind of rare to see a homemade flyback actually put out that much. And get this house only powering it off of 5 volts. <clears throat> With the same driver I put on the other flyback transformer, by the way, that blue. Yeah, so. This is the MOSFET, that blue. I arced to it by accident, so. Yeah. Long story short, it doesn't work anymore. So, yeah. Have this core, this little small mod transformer, that other small mod transformer outside. I think it might have gotten wet or something. I'm not sure if it's gonna work anymore. Haven't used it. So, yeah, and then I have this flyback. It was actually making Corona right on the side, so that was kind of cute, cool how I was doing that. I don't think it'll do that anymore because I filled it up with glue, keep it from marking over to the core. So I was getting about 15 kilovolts, 15,000 volts out of this. So, I mean, yeah, I could probably make a nice Tesla coil. This could probably be a Tesla coil <clears throat> power supply, something like that. So, yeah, just wanted to say that. Just So, that's the end of my video, and bye.